Hey everybody, it's Troy. I got a question from a customer today. Uh, they liked the masking tool. Yep, you can drag it onto a video and then you can choose uh, whether or not you want that to be an oval or a rectangle and you can place it and resize it and, and change the opacity of it. But what they really wanted was to spotlight two things at once and the mask tool here just does one thing at a time. So here's how we're going to deal with it. First, uh, I'll uh, get rid of the mask and I'm going to go into my annotations tools. Uh, I go to bold here under the styles. So shapes, uh, bold, and uh, I'm just going to grab this shape over here. I'll put it on top of my video and uh, let's change the opacity to, I don't know, something like 70% thereabouts. Okay. Let's line this up on the timeline over here. And uh, then I'm going to choose the things that I actually want to spotlight. So I'll put one of these on here and we're going to make our first spotlight effect here just to make sure that this is essentially what we want. Once again, drag that across. And now I'm going to kind of cut a hole into the darker shape. And um, the way that I am going to do this is right clicking on this eyeball over here and I'll go to luminosity invert and voila we've cut our shape out now that's one right but we wanted two so let's uh, undo this and just go back to none on here and uh, we're going to copy uh, and paste command C command V or uh, control C control V so now I've got my second shape and I'm just going to drag the second one over here thereabouts okay so now I've got two, and the key is how do we sort of do this uh, track matting, which is what we were doing a second ago. I'm going to take both of these, hold down the shift key, and select them both. I'm going to right click, and I'm going to group them. Now those are a group. If, uh, from here, now I will right click, and I will choose luminosity invert and now we've got both of them so I can move oh hold on and let me do one last thing I've got let me just rename this just to keep things simple and I'm gonna call these one uh, two squares and be, and I'm doing that because now I'm going to uh, hold down the shift key and also select the underlying um, mat if you will and I'm going to right click again and group and uh, up here I'll turn this one back to none this is important you got to turn um, this track mat uh, mode back to none and so we get rid of those dashes along here and if I want to I can rename this one group um, and I'll call this one two cutouts or let's uh, call it two spotlights something like that okay hope I spell that right and now if, let's say my video is walking through this website and then I want to get to the track mats. Well, it's good, but it may be better if we uh, add a transition to it. So let's go to transitions, uh, grab a fade, and I'll control the duration. Whoop, let's grab the edge of that one. There we go. So, and there we are. Hope that helps. Thanks for watching.